Hello everybody, LEGO Sonic Fan 17 here, and I'm back with another Space Flight Simulator video. Yes, I know, it's been like a month and a half or something like that. That's because I haven't had any motivation to make these videos because I kind of got bored of SFS, but now I'm back. And to restart this entire thing, well not really restart, but you know, to restart the SFS videos, I'm going to Neptune because that was my very first SFS commentary, going to Neptune. So I'm like, hey, let's let's do that again. And plus, I haven't visited Neptune in like a long time. I've only visited the planet once. Well, to be honest, I've only visited like every planet only once in these videos. Actually, now that I think about it, I, I have not ever visited Jupiter, have I? Like in these commentary videos. Yeah, I've never visited Jupiter. I've visited the moon a lot. I visited Mars a couple times. I visited Saturn. I think, I don't remember it. Yeah, I did because of the Titan video. And I've, I've visited Uranus for the Titania base. I haven't actually visited Jupiter at all, which it has to change. That might be my next video, sending a spacecraft to Jupiter, but that's for the next video. In this video, we're now making our transfer burn to Neptune. I deployed the antennas because I, I don't know, I just thought it would be cool. And you might have noticed on the probe that we have a atmosphere probe as well that we're going to drop into Neptune's atmosphere to see what it's made of. Because as we know, guys, we're all about the science here. We like learning about other planets, studying them by launching space probes and satellites to figure out what they're made of what their composition is, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? What their atmospheres are composed of, and what else? How they formed, and I, I guess that's it. Anything else? Oh yeah, how they uh, interact with each other. Did I already say that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we performed our trans-Neptunian injection, and we are now getting ready to separate the probe, and we've done that now. Firing the engine a little bit to, you know, put some distance between the debris and the space probe. And now we are just getting ready to time... Well, wait, no, not yet. We are just trying to correct our trajectory because sometimes I just start time warping. And when I enter the sphere of influence of the uh, target body... I then realize, oh wait, I didn't do a mid-course correction, or I didn't set my orbit correctly, and now I have to waste tons of delta V just to correct that orbit. I, I don't know if that made sense, but anyway, we're going for a fairly low uh, approach to Neptune because, wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right, because... I, for some reason, I just remembered of the very first commentary I did, and uh, in that one, I flew by Neptune and just got a uh, Triton uh, encounter in, like, Periapsis, and I guess I was thinking about that. That's why, like, as I said that sentence, like, for a second, I was like, wait, no, we're just, we're not getting too close to Neptune, but we actually are. Anyway, <laughs> let's just uh, talk about something else now. We're approaching the planet Neptune, and... There's the moon Triton. Ah, but do not fear, my fellow viewers. We will visit Triton when the time comes. But for now, we must slow down at Neptune or else we will just be performing a flyby, which is very bad. And that is not the objective of the mission. The objective is to enter an elliptical orbit around the planet Neptune, which we have done now. Hey, how's that for timing? And after this, we will just uh, set our apogee. I mean, it's not really apogee, is it? Because it's not Earth. We will set our uh, apoapsis to intercept the orbit of Triton and time warp up and then jettison the atmospheric probe. Yes, I did not have a creative name for the probe. I, why am I saying this? If I have not separated the, the probe yet. And... There we go, I have now separated the probe, now I could talk about the name. The name is Poseidon, uh, for both the spacecraft and the probe, because I'm not creative. And right there, I was about to point retrograde, and meaning the both the spacecraft and the probe would have burned up in the Neptunian atmosphere. Uh, is that like a term? Neptunian? I don't know, but I still use it anyway. Uh, we are now time warping down to Neptune. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
and yeah I, i'm surprised how stable this was like in in the last video with the space corn dog not the last video the very last sfs video i made with the space corn dog mark ii was that the last sfs video with planet nine uh i don't remember and just in case you guys forgot no it's not the number nine it's n-i-n-e -E, planet nine the word nine is not the number nine get it right anyway <laughs> uh yes this probe actually controls really well in the atmosphere which is pretty cool although am i no i'm confusing this with the rover with the rover for uh the the planet nine video okay now i'm spoiling the video for the people who have who haven't watched it yet but please watch it it's a really cool video uh planet nine looks really cool i really recommend you go watch that video and i'm kind of losing control there in the atmosphere but it did not matter because then I realized no heat damage was on, which was kind of cheating, and I forgot to disable it. I'm sorry. But hey, I I didn't really cheat because I kept the heat shield pointed towards the, the burning fireball of death the entire time. So it really wasn't cheating, technically. And we are now falling into the Neptunian uh, abyss, I guess you would call it. And I tried to fall faster <laughs> by tilting the probe from one, uh, you know, from one angle to the other, but it didn't really work. And there we go. The parachute is deployed and we can now just slowly descend onto the Neptunian. Well, it's not surface, is it? It's more of like abyss. Yes, that's a great terminology for that. The Neptunian abyss, even though it looks super blue, it's an abyss. And we are now fading over to the spacecraft in Neptunian orbit. And oh, look at that. The probe is no longer there, probably because it got destroyed by the pressure. And right there, I tried to set a Triton encounter, but I couldn't. So I just decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to try to like, I don't know, um, set a uh, uh, maneuver to do that. And oh, no, look, it did it on its own. So that's cool. So after this, I'm just trying to get as close to the moon as possible so we could get some high resolution uh, pictures. And I don't really remember. Oh yeah, I was um, setting the orbit line count to like more than three to see what my uh, resulting orbit was gonna be. It's very useful, very useful thing that Steph added because yeah, you get to see your trajectories after a sphere of influence, which is amazing. The only thing that SFS is missing now are just maneuver nodes. If you play KSP, you know what maneuver nodes are and you know how useful they actually are. And once they get added to um, to SFS, Steph, I promise I will take back everything bad I've said about you. I promise I will forget about that time you broke the promise that all like DLCs will come like prepaid or something. But, you know, we all know he lied. He just wants more money. <laughs> and if you want to say he just wants money to fund the game, yeah, I guess that's a fair point. But the game already costs money. I mean, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm thinking of Space Age. Just, now I'm making myself look terrible. Anyway, we've now entered Triton orbit, and we've completed a few orbits. You already saw what Triton looked like, so I don't really need to describe that. And we're going back to Neptune because... I'm afraid this probe's mission is coming to an end and it is running out of fuel. Please ignore that fuel bar that is full at the bottom. That does not matter right now. Please um, do not look down at the bottom left corner of your screen. No, that is not a full fuel bar. That is just a glitch, trust me. So yeah, look, look at how much fuel we had, just making sure to uh, waste all of it. And hey, we, we still had um, enough fuel to, oh wait, no, I think I, uh, I'm contradicting myself. I actually used the bottom fuel bar, dang it. <laughs> anyway, we're now uh, approaching Neptune rapidly. And right there, I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna turn off uh, the UI so you guys get a beautiful view of the probe getting disintegrated. At first, I forgot to turn off no heat damage. No, that, no. I, see, I, my memory is terrible. So yeah, look, there we go. You get a beautiful cinematic of the probe being disintegrated. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. 
and all of my socials are in the description uh i think probably hopefully anyway that's all i gotta say have a wonderful day everyone